Picture a regular tornado. Now set it on fire. That's fire tornado. Fire tornadoes form during massive wildfires. It produces heat that much as own weather system. Hot air spirals up, pulls in more oxygen, which feeds more fire, more heat. These things reach 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. They spin at 165 miles per hour. Regular tornadoes destroy buildings. Fire tornadoes vaporize them. California, 2018. One fire tornado lasted over three hours. Three hours of a spinning column of flame wider than a football field. Here's the scary part. They're getting more common. Bigger wildfires mean more fire fire tornadoes. You can't outrun them. You can't hide from them. Your only option is to not be anywhere near a massive wildfire. This guy is water spout, and it is a tornado over water. Some form from regular storm systems. Those are just tornadoes that happen to be over lakes or ocean. Also strong as land tornadoes, these form on clear days from nothing but water and cool air. Then hit 80 miles per hour and flip your boat. Florida gets 500 water spouts every year. They form in minutes and disappear just as fast. Tampa Bay 2023. A water spout came on shore and turned into a regular tornado in 30 seconds. Nobody saw it coming because who expects a water tornado to just walk onto land and keep going? Now this guy is Snownado. It happens during winter storms when the same conditions that create regular tornadoes occur in freezing temperatures. Instead of rain and debris, get a spinning column of snow moving at 100 miles per hour. The visibility is zero if there is foggy day, and the temperature drops to negative numbers instantly. The wind chill alone can give you frostbite in under five minutes. These are rare because the conditions have to be perfect. Severe thunderstorm energy plus freezing temperatures plus snow and almost silent. Regular tornadoes sound like trains. It is totally sinister. Now this guy is dust devil, or say it land spout. Regular tornadoes form from thunderstorm clouds and reach down. Dust devils form from the ground up. Super hot ground heats air. That air rises fast, starts spinning from local wind patterns. Instant tornado with no clouds needed. Most are weak, maybe 70 miles per hour, but some grow into monsters. Arizona 2019, a dust devil reached 190 miles per hour and tossed a car 15 feet. It formed in 40 seconds on a clear, sunny day. Day. The scary thing is, if you're walking in the desert, suddenly you're airborne. By the time you see the dust, you're already in it. Mars has dust devils that are 10 times bigger than Earth's. They helped clean the solar panels, not roads on Mars, which is the only time a tornado has ever been helpful. This guy is Rope Tornado, a happy ending of a tornado's life. When a tornado starts dying, it stretches and thins out, it looks like a rope hanging from the cloud. That rope can still pack 200 miles per hour winds, because all that energy is now in the center, which means only closer things can affect higher. If it is creating or dying, you never know that thin funnel is forming or dying. Both are deadly. Now this guy is multiple vortex tornado. Its main funnel is already catastrophic. But inside that, smaller tornadoes orbit around the center like planets around a sun. Each sub-vortex can be 200 plus miles per hour, while the main tornado is maybe 180 miles per hour. This creates chaos on the ground. One house gets hit by 200 miles per hour. Winds going clockwise. The house next door gets hit by 180 miles per hour winds going counterclockwise. One house vanishes, the other barely loses shingles. Nobody knows why. This guy is Green Tornado. The green color comes from sunlight filtering through massive amounts of water and ice in the storm. It needs specific timing. Late afternoon sun, enormous storm clouds, hail reflecting light in weird ways. When all that combines, the sky goes green. That green means the storm is so powerful it's ripping water molecules apart. The updraft is pulling everything up, including hail the size of softballs. And somewhere in that green sky, a tornado is forming, or already on the ground, and the tri-state tornado that killed 695 people. Witnesses described the green sky first. The weirdest part? We still don't fully understand why the sky turns green. We just know what it means. Now this is ending. Subscribe. Bye.